this is my Mustang and I'm gonna be showing you today how to change your oil. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure you have the right tools. So in my case, I need a 16, I need a 16 millimeter. You wanna make sure you have the right oil and enough oil. I've got six quarts of 5W20 and I have my filter that I need to change. Also, um, you're gonna need a, um, a funnel to pour the oil oil into the bottle. But without further ado, let's get started. Oh, also, if your car is real low like mine, you'll probably wanna, what I just do is I drive it up on two by fours and then I jacked it up a little bit, but so. And before, the first step is, if your car's sitting, you gotta make sure you warm up the engine first. Um, that way the, the oil actually comes out. So, anyway. And you also need a, you need a drain pan also to, uh, to clean out the oil. So as you can see, there's my oil pan right there. I already popped the bolt loose here. And this will be hot, but it's not, it's not extremely hot. Like I'm not, I could burn myself, I guess, but not bad enough to go to the hospital. I would just loosen it by hand, but I can't, I can't really fit under here. Really? You look like you're lying there dead, man. Oh, really? <laughs> there we go. Okay, so while that's draining, I'm gonna take the filter off and drain that. <sighs> I hope the thing doesn't overflow because 
it might. So, right. so what you want to do is try and pour a little bit of oil in here and run your finger around the edge so you get the oil to seal it a little better. Too much because it'll spill. And let's go under here. Obviously, this is pretty messy, especially when you're outside. It's even like more messy. So And you can see the filter there right here. Looks like it may be leaking. So maybe I didn't turn it, put it on the right last time. Maybe it wasn't tight enough, I don't know. But, and for me, you might wanna roll up your sleeve in case it run down to your arm. But I just reach up there and I can turn it by hand. You might need an oil wrench or a oil filter wrench, but I don't use it. Just try and catch it coming out there. Right there. Yeah, it's kind of dirty, so. Alright. So. I got. It. Oh, crap! I turned that upside down. Oops. Yeah. You probably shouldn't do that because then the oil could drain out. I, th I guess I knocked it over. Crap. <sighs> anyway, so we already prepped it. So I'm going to take this and just go up there. And you can try to get it as tight as you can with your hand. You don't want to make it too tight because you'll have to get it off again eventually. So. so that's done. Now, normally I wouldn't really wait for that to stop dripping. I just plug it up with the with the bolt, but the bolt's in there. So I have to wait for it to finish draining. So. Let's see if I can get the bolt out. No, I can't. What I'll do is, I'll pull this out and then slide that. Ooh, this is full. It's honestly not that full, but when you're on a hill, it really kind of complicates things. So, we'll slide this under the hole so it catches it. So you don't spill it all over. And then we'll try and work this, this bad boy out. Spilling it.
tighten this up. Like I said, this car should take about six quarts. So, as you can see, I'm completely covered in mud. <laughs> but, it's okay. Can't even get this off. My hands are so slick. That's the first five. Oops. Spilled a little bit there, that's okay though. I just gotta put my old oil in the trash. Or back in the back in the old bottle. Is that on there tight? Usually it kind of clicks. I guess it's good. I don't know. Ugh. All right. So. Then after that, you just take this back to uh, 
any place that sells oil will typically accept it, like Walmart or AutoZone. As you can see, I got uh, this car takes six quarts, and I got right about probably like five and a half out. But the bottle is like completely full. So now you just clean up your mess and you should check for leaks uh, by the drain bolt or by the, the filter. But anyway, with that being said, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.